this is Miss Andrea with not another homeschool vlog and so this has been a week hasn't it um I'm not that person who as soon as something important happens in the news in life or whatever is going to be the first person to make a video is going to you know try to get a jump start on all the hits and it's gonna try to make my own opinion piece out of it because I never want to discuss something until I've really thought about it and um, and I feel like I know what I'm talking about um, I think we're at that point with this story um, this article is from the Federalist not a site that I read um, the link was sent to me from someone on a political um, Facebook page that I'm on and their comment was the reason that they're not protecting children in schools is because they want um, conservative people to pull out of schools. They want to scare them out of schools and, you know, um, move towards homeschooling. As a homeschooling advocate, that bothers me because it took since like the 80s when homeschooling started again until now, 2022, for homeschooling to become marginally integrated and multi-ethnic and marginally, you know, across all religions and stuff like that. So right now in this moment, um, especially with so many black families turning to homeschooling in the last two years, homeschooling is pretty um, multicultural, multi-ethnic. And if we have this large conservative rush to homeschooling from fear of children getting hurt in schools because we won't make legislation about it. We're just gonna, you know, hype up the scare factor and tell people that they are better off if they take their kids out of school and homeschool. And here's some of the things that they said here. Tragedies like the shooting in Texas are heartbreaking and far too common. Since 2018, there have been 119 school shootings wherein at least one person was injured or killed. Name calling, blame shifting, and calls for gun restrictions fill social media and the public's request, the public's quest to find a solution. But to protect the most precious, innocent lives among us, parents must educate their kids at home. I think I started homeschooling my kids in 2003. Um, and that last spring that, I, you know, I decided to homeschool around January and decided that I would take the rest of that school year for me and immerse myself in learning as much about homeschooling as possible, reading as much books as possible, went to a couple conventions, did the whole thing. Um, and in that last semester, someone, a man, walked into the next closest school to the elementary school my kids were in. Like my kids were in this elementary school, the next elementary school was barely a mile away. And he walked in and hit a kid in the head with a hammer, caused brain damage. Um, and in my naivety, I thought, you know, thank goodness I'm going to have my kids at home. Because what I learned in the next eight years, because my kids were in college by then, eight to ten years, um, was that nothing you can do is going to guarantee safety of your children. Um, 
incident in the neighborhood, incident at the public park, shootings at the local mall, church shootings, um, child molester just walking to the church and approaching a child. Like, there's always going to be something that endangers children. Um, and so homeschooling is not going to be that answer for protecting them because they still live life, right? All I can say is that it takes the onus off of the government and back onto you when you homeschool because at least you are there or there's a better chance of you being there or nearby when something happens to your child and you can react quickly. But I don't want anyone to have a false narrative that if they decide to homeschool that their children are then going to be safe from the bad people. Um, but who are the bad people? The article continues. It is clear now from the long list of school shootings in recent years that families can't trust government schools in particular to bring their children or teachers home safely at the end of the day. The same institutions that punish kids for misgendering people and high curriculum from parents, they have hyperlinks to all that, are simply not equipped to safeguard your children from harm. While some school districts devote time and resources to screening, training, and licensing teachers to carry firearms in their classrooms, most states and districts have policies that explicitly prohibit educators from carrying guns on school property for self-defense. Can we talk about that? Because from the news that we have to date, um, an armed police force did not stop this kid from killing these children. Um, we're learning now that, and this could change, but we're learning now that there's a good chance that with the proper foresight, the proper call to action, the proper quick thinking, this kid would have never made it into the school and he would have never fired his rifle as many times as he had fired his wife rifle. And one of the last children that was shot was answering a police officer that said, if you need help, say help. And a girl yelled help and she was killed. Like, it was just a huge bungle. So if you, if we really think, excuse me, the allergies right now are killing me. Um, if you really think that arming teachers is going to make children more safe when armed officers could not, then we're all being a little delusional. The truth in this story is right here where they say you can't protect your, your kids from everything. There's no telling when a crazy gunman might open fire in a movie theater or in a grocery store. Right? Right? You can, however, do your best to prevent them from being sitting ducks at frequently targeted locations, such as schools, and keeping them by your side. I can't argue with that. What I can argue with is a very conservative website is, as a dog whistle, telling parents to pull their kids out and homeschool them. Um, and didn't we just finish doing that? Like, didn't we just crawl through the dregs of COVID-19 um, where everyone had to do school at home and then a whole bunch of parents decided that they were going to call it homeschooling and then another whole bunch of parents decided that they were going to actually homeschool and then they did that for a year and then most of those parents decided to go back to school. Like, do we want to keep doing this? Please don't homeschool unless it's something that you have given serious thought to, you understand the time, cost, sacrifice, and all of that. 
because as someone who runs a homeschool program, um, having people change their mind halfway doesn't just hurt you and your child. It hurts the program, the children in the programs, the administrators running the programs, the teachers who have been hired based on your enrollment into the programs. Or if you're doing homeschool solo by yourself, then that inconsistency is going to confuse a child and make them not excel. So, you know, what happened in Texas? Um, honestly, I can't think of anything worse. Um, even with the last few years being bad. Um, and it's crazy, my own reaction to it. I was stunned. I wasn't surprised. I was just stunned. I was irritated. Um, and it took me two days to process the emotion of it because it happens so much. And, you know, I don't dare think that because I homeschooled my kids or that because I work with homeschool kids now that we're safe. Someone could see on the door of my office that I'm about to open up, finally, um, that we're a homeschool resource center and decide to barge in and see if there are any homeschoolers on board. Like, people are crazy. People do bad things. Um, and I never put it past people too do those bad things. I always hope for the good, but you have to be super vigilant. You have to be super vigilant. Um, and you know, although my program is small, I'm working on my security up front. You know, um, I, I won't have children into the entry. You enter and then you go into the interior. And I and the interior is reserved for um, children, staff, and family. Like you can't just walk into my school and visit and see and have access to kids, um, which is probably why it took so long to get the right place because the right floor plan and whatnot which is like super important. Um, so that I have an entry space, a visitor space, and then an interior you know, homeschool space. Um, because I don't want to advertise that there's kids on board because people are nuts. So I, I realize I've gone back and forth, but the net and net is as a former homeschooler and a homeschooling advocate, I don't want people to think that it's okay to dog whistle this message out that schools are not safe. Not that, you know, people shooting kids is the problem, but the fact that the schools won't allow the teachers to have guns so that they can't fight. And so therefore you need to bring your kids home to homeschool them. It's asinine. Until next time.